Greetings everybody and welcome to my Survivor World series. We're here in Sandfields again and I apologize if this is getting old, but um, to me it's not really old because, well, for the past, actually, no. Since I did the last video, I haven't really played this world that much at all. Um, actually for a full month, starting September 30th, all the way through October, I did not play at all. Like, this world is never loaded once in that whole time. And that's mostly because it's just at school, but it's also because I was playing in the snapshots, going week to week in the snapshots and doing that, and updating my Race for Wolf series, which is almost ready for 2.0 at this moment. Um, the only one that's not, I feel, is um, the first one, which still needs some work to it, um, balancing issues and um, wool, changing the wools, all of them pretty much, but, um, and then there's a few tweaks to spawn I want, such as like a kill switch to reset food and hunger, and mostly command blocks, updating the spawn to fit command blocks more, and I'm excited about all those possibilities, but... Today we have um, Fred here. I believe he's like my second or third zombie pigman. And still no. Wow, still no um, gold ingots from those guys, I guess. But I am in 1.44. It's actually the 1.44 pre release, but they're the exact same versions, so not too worried about it. And I've been just roaming around a little bit here, and I have a few things to do, being in a new update, as in a lot of new crafting stuff. But first, I want to get these potions going. Um, I do not have a carrot yet, or any way of getting carrots, farming them, or um, I'll need to h kill some more zombies to get a carrot sometime. But please tell me, okay. Um, so I cannot make the night vision or invisibility potions yet, but I can make um, the useless potions, mundane and thick. And that will complete them all except the night vision and flying sheep everywhere, apparently, right when I, only when I record, of course. <laughs> but we also have a lot of new crafting stuff, so first off are the new walls. Um, which is pretty cool. I really like these. And I don't really like using the mossy on them because I use the mossy for something else in this world. But I need to make, at least make these walls for the first time. We'd actually connected to each other. That's interesting. But those walls are pretty cool. And now I have one of each of them. And where is my... Just put them in there, I guess. Um, we also have some of these. I've never made a painting on this world. That's not 1.4 new, of course. But I don't... Oh, no. I do have a painting. Never mind. Whatever. I made a painting on camera. And, but I have not made one of these yet. An item frame. Which is pretty cool. We'll put one here. Nope, nope, I don't want to eat it. Thank you. Very nice. Might as well eat. I like it. Um, let's make a few more. <laughs> Some sticks. So yeah, um, I haven't played this role at all much. Um, I do have something to show, though. And I have been playing PvP a lot. Um, PGM. In particular and I might be releasing some videos of that sometime soon um, PGM is a PvP server that's uh, massive and public and so you might be able to catch me on there maybe if you want to play yourself and aha wooden buttons oh yeah <laughs> 
it's wooden buttons, item frames, I want to hold the item frames, and this is pretty cool. My first anvil. So this allows you to do multiple things. What I want to do now is repair the silk touch silk touch pick. Um Ooh, it costs lots of levels too. Hmm. I actually want to enchant this. And I might move the not bad, I like a work I like workers picks. I was not expecting it levels to just merely repair like that. Um what about combining? Too expensive. Enchantment level thirty-four. Hmm. So it requires levels for all the things. Okay, I did not know that. Good to know. I do know it requires five levels and name change. Oh no, not five. Twenty-one. Hmm. Oh. Thank you. So that's interesting. Anyways, that's a lot of crafting going on. I also want to show you over here. I've been harvesting a little bit of mobs. Um, I have it over at this main part now, so I should collect some resources down here. And we could do this. Gunpowder. Finally, I can make sense of what's going on here. Bones and string. I did not get any string this round. But let's um switch it back the other way. Where's my string? Oh, I just made chip wire. There we go. So just like that, we have all that. And I also got... um. These golden boots from a skeleton. Look at the enchants in that boot. That's those boots. That's, that's crazy. Protection two, feather falling two. Did not know they could have boots that well enchanted on a mob. And that, actually, when I beat up the skeleton the first time, um, it went to a zombie, and then it went to another skeleton, and then it went to a third skeleton, and then I was finally able to pick it up. But fortunately, if they pick up items off the ground, there's a hundred percent chance of dropping it. At least I believe it's a hundred percent. So I've, as long as it drops from the first one, it should drop from the rest. And I also got another bow that's very much broken, but it's okay. Um, I do have these full powered bows from farming them, and that will always be good. Um, but there's also a new record, which is actually really, really cool sounding. Um, I really like how the new record sounds. Let's see if I can't get it. Okay, let's see if that... It did not seem to give me anything. Unless... The zombie or something's holding it, which is certainly possible. The skeletons do not seem to be hitting any more mobs, though. might take a while to find new records. I actually might go to my other record base, which is far more stable and far less risky. Actually, yeah, let's head there slowly. I want to show one more thing first before hunting for another record, and I won't do that on camera. Um, 
was this something in here? Oh yeah, I just removed the torches in here. Um, and added furnaces. I believe that's all. I'm not sure. But <laughs> on down we go to the hall of subscribers and I just threw a few ender pearls. That's okay. But I did a lot of work in here. Actually most of my work since I restarted this world has been in here since I had a month of gaining new subscribers. I had a lot of backup emails and a lot of catching up to do with the signs. And yeah, this place is complete actually. Um, I built it up. I added a roof over it. I cleaned up the end of the walls. If the chunks would load. And I made it complete. Parabola circular thing here. I added glowstone very rare. This is the blood glowstone as I call it. Um, the nine stacks I got from massive villager trading. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a little bit more left in here, but um, massive trading other otherwise. And as you can see, there's a lot more new subscribers since the 217 mark, which we did last episode, I believe. I still don't have a special for the 217 subscribers. I'm sorry about that, but I have actually no clue what to really do about it. I have no ideas anymore on ideas I had, which are... Did I just duplicate that somehow? I don't know. I don't think so, but the ideas I had... Um... I'll just leave that there for now. The ideas I had were not... Um quite working out so I gave them up on them and I haven't had any more ideas since then um, I wanted to have a special that's not similar to others and most ideas I came up with were similar or done already and I have not come up with anything yet but the plan for this place as it is is to keep going around once I reach the end of this, I'll loop back around the inside of this wall here, which I might, no I won't, I won't, I'll just leave it flat like this, but curve back, and then go on the second story, um, I'll have this part of the top wall open up into a new area, so, um, that, and then it just keep going along like that, which would be a, probably a long time from now, but, um, that's my plans for that, and I'm glad I finally got that finished. I'm glad I have a roof on it. What is going on? My ender pearls are awful today. Okay, so yeah, here's the roof. Um, just so many. Okay. But yeah, here's the roof. Um, I had a little pattern in this glass before, but I removed it. And um, it just feels smooth to me, and it feels complete. And ironically, the water is very close to the same shape as the glass. Which, uh, not ironically, coincidentally. Let's get the word straight there. But it's very close to the shape of the glass, which shocked me. Well, coughing fit to, of death there, but yeah, I was pretty cool how it turned out to coincidentally fit, and we'll head on through to the nether. But um, back um, one of my main problems with sign fields as it existed before was that I could not find a feasible. I did not have a feasible way to farm both villagers and iron golems at the same time since iron golems require a village and if there's a village the villagers have to be controlled and if they're controlled like that then I can't I couldn't really also farm villagers at the same time I thought I have no way to do that but with the new zombie villagers I am capable of it with like a zombie purifier in a way which is pretty exciting 
Um, I did that ender chest all around. But with the zombie purifier. Okay, perfect. They're going that way now. I could farm both zombies, uh, both iron golems and villagers, which is pretty cool. Um, actually, I didn't point it out when I was over there. and grr. But I did start on a miniature village inside Seinfeld's, but gave up on it. Because... <sighs> Really ender pearls? That's not gonna end well. But gave up on it because it was getting a bit tedious. There weren't enough doors, and I would have to, have to transport villages some way or another. And just gave up on it. And now I could replace that with a um. <coughs> Replace that with the Iron Golem Villager Farm. And... No, I do not want that. Capture Skelly. Perfect, I caught one. Let's hope, let's hope it falls down here. even have a ton of stuff here but I um, this works by waiting for day when his skeleton is in here it can't burn because there's a block above him and I could also make that block above him as well why are these guys taking damage no okay I do not want that creeper in the here that would be bad. But all the other mobs burn to death except the creepers. And then I could just stand here. Um, when I start the farming, a piston right here will check this block. I could just stand here and they'll shoot them to death. Um, production, what does this do? Oh, it makes it so no more mobs come up. Okay. So I want more mobs, more creepers, and I'll wait till day and see if I could help perhaps get the new record. Oh yeah. So it's a slight problem. Um Do mobs with armor burn? Oh good, I got it. Without killing one creeper too. So there's a ton of creepers in there. Skeleton in there. We know the drill. Ions. We just wait here. And one record already. Two records already. Dude, that's a broken record. We could get two more records. I did not know they dropped the broken records now. Wow. That's excellent. So I could add two more records to my collection. And... One more shot, probably. There we go. What? Okay, so we're done farming. Got lots of new records. Wait. Strad. So let's listen to it. In this side of the world. And I'll end it here. Um, I'll appreciate you all watching and I'll 
um, leave this playing with my mic off. But we'll turn. Oh, I made a chest. Ah. Uh. I've been making too many chests on PGM. But anyways, here's the record. Here's the disc. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.